What's up, Jim? What's up, Jim? Back questions for Jimmy. Jimmy, what were your big goals this offseason? Body-wise, game-wise, what were you focusing on? Uh, my goals for the offseason, you know, I was already dealing with an injury, so I just wanted to make sure I got, got that taken care of. And really, I was just training and working, you know, so I could come back better this season. Really be better than what I was last year. What did you What did you think of last year? Uh, last year, was a, it was not right year for me. You know, I could do way better than what I did. I just hold myself to a higher standard, but I really didn't complete what I wanted to do. So, but it all comes with playing as a team. You know, things are come to me. You mentioned the injury. Was it after spring break that you were able to, you know, greenlit to, to be able to practice again? Yeah. yeah How it was after are you feeling now? I feel good. No, nah, you know, I feel good. Got the right treatment and stuff like that. Shout out to my boy Brady inside the training room. You know, he spent a lot of time with me every day, and he got me right. Jimmy, you mentioned how last year could have been better. Have you been motivated by the receivers they brought in, the competition they're bringing into this room? Uh, in life, I'm moving. In life, I'm motivated. You know, so like that just more motivation. You know, but I, it ain't no like hatred or nothing in our receiver room because at the end of the day, we're a team. You know, and I got a good chemistry with some of the players that already came in. So it just, it's just competition at the end of the day. You know. Is that competition fueling though? Like yeah. when you're out there and you see Lashante make plays or whatever, does that kind of make you say, "All right, I gotta go make a play now"? Uh, yeah, but like if the play come my way, I just gotta make it, you know. So I really don't look at it as like, okay, if he make a play, I gotta go make a play. If he make a play, I'm finna run over and go congratulate him. So if my play do come, then it just go be reciprocated, vice versa. What's the difference with Pat Shermer now, full time, kind of setting his scheme, setting the offense? How do you see the offense changing from last year? Uh, the offense, it got it's it's more like a different tempo type of offense. You know, we go fast or whatever. Uh, really like it just like more like a NFL pro style type of offense. You know, just something to get used to. I done been a part of different offenses, so as me being a different part of different offenses, it helped me learn how to adjust to it different. So, how about running the football? Is there an extra emphasis you think could be placed on that this year? Do you see that? Uh, I mean, if Coach ain't say nothing about it, I don't know if he said anything. I ain't going to speak on it. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, he's going into your second season here at Colorado under Coach Prime. What's it What's it like playing for Coach Prime? How would you describe it to the outside world? Uh, playing for Coach Prime, like, you get to learn different things, you know, off field, at being a man, so, like, like, he teaches he teach things off field more stuff like that but really like it's just a great experience for real like you won't ever stumble across it instead especially with all the different coaches we got on the staff and stuff like that so it's really just a good experience to have you know like, how is coach Shermer a different teacher than say coach Lewis was at this time like how how does he differ how do we explain stuff to you? It's because uh, pro offices are hard man yeah like, different deal yeah it, it, it's kind of hard but like he teaches like a pro style offense you know so it's just really awesome you gotta, you gotta show me like how, how easy you can pick up on these plays and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it, it ain't no, it ain't no uh, quiz for like us as a whole team because we're a team. So we gonna try as hard as to make sure we know what we know and we had a knowledge to go out there and execute the plays. Does he give you quizzes? Is it the kind of thing where it's like a class and he puts it up on the board? Something like that. Like we don't really get too many quizzes just yet because we're in the spring, so right. you know everything don't be solidified until until the fall. You said to see Xavier get his name called this weekend for the draft? Man, I pray before he get his shot, man, for sure. I don't know what I'm getting through at all, so I pray he get that opportunity and that shot. Well, whichever team you get in the boys, hey, man, they going to get a good one for sure. Do you feel your chemistry with Shadur improving as you guys go into year two together? Yeah, for sure. It's for sure improving from, like, really over the years, over this past year, like, he learned some of my tendencies, I learned his tendencies, so all it is is more commitment to it. As good as Shadur was, he is, how is he like better from like a year ago? Having to learn the offense, having to do all the rest of it. Uh, first of all, that's the big thing happened to learn the offense. Like as a quarterback, like you gotta know everybody at some you ain't just gotta know one assignment. So like that just show you like how smart he is and stuff like that. So you only get smarter and sometimes like smarter just I don't know. I ain't in this train. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he faster? Last is one, he quicker? Uh, so he ain't been running like that, so I can't even tell you. <laughs> he got a good old lineman for sure. So.
by Brian Gopher. Just real quick, I want to ask you what your impressions are of like Ryan Staub in the back of the quarterbacks and how are those guys progressing? Uh, Ryan Staub, he's doing, he doing what he got to do. Ryan will be good. You know, I got to see a little show pass what he can do against Utah. Ryan, Ryan he's a good kid. Good dude. So he got a lot of potential. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Good to see you, Jim. Appreciate it.